Are you struggling to make money in Tarkov? Are you dying by PMCs? Well today I'm going to show you how to make millions of rubles risk free. Okay guys, so here I'm going to explain the loot run. You always want to start at either Idea or Ollie. Idea or Ollie. Um, this is because you don't want to go through the middle of the map. This is the no-no zone. We do not go here. We do not, let's just scribble that. We do not go in the middle. Okay, so the idea is to go around the edge of the map. So we start at Ollie. We do the outside of Ollie. And then we work through the store again. A lot of motors, stuff like that, spawn these shelves. Motors, power supplies, you know, all that stuff. The safest way now is to go through into these computer rooms. Hit all three of these. And then you can go up and out up here. You want to loot the toolboxes that you find all down here. So look all down here, all these shelves, all these toolboxes. And now this is where you can kind of alter it to how it, your run goes. You can come up here and go back in there. You can loot this if you want. Then you can come down here, loot this if you want. And then, or you can go out to the power station, loot that if you want. And take the car extract. Or maybe car extract isn't there and you have to take railway, so you continue down here. You know, there's so many ways to change it to your needs. You can also loot the powers, uh, the PCs down here. We can even loot the PCs in here or in here. You connect it there. You know, there's so many different ways, right? But what I just sh showed you was the base of the run. So if I uh, delete all this. So the run that I did looked a bit like this. You go and ollie around the back, loop around, through these, through here, doing all that, through here. And then I usually go out to power station, check for the extract, and then if it's not there, I go to railway. Now you can do this in the opposite way too. If you were gonna start from power station, then you just do the run in reverse. If you start from Goshen side, so if you start from the middle entrance, just don't. Either go right or left, and just go from there. Now, as I say in the video, you can go under and go up these escalators. That's a good way in. Going under is usually a good way in, because not many people go there. Same for Ollie. If you get the middle spawn, you go under, you rotate under the middle, and come out from here. You come out from here as well if you go in, go in here. But yeah, that's the general idea. You'll get a lot of map sense from this, just to know how people rotate. I only found one PMC doing this run, um, and that was her. As you can see, we're avoiding a lot of hot zones doing this run. That's why it's, you can do it, you don't have to. On my runs, I didn't. I just followed this main line here. Followed this main line. Okay, guys, so this is the loot table that we will be looting. Uh, I got this from a place called Tarkov.dev, so uh, credit to them. I filtered to 15k per slot only, so anything here is worth looting, definitely. Um, something that's not on there that's worth looting in my opinion is probably electric drills. It updates all the time. I'll put the description. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can use it for yourself. Um, anything above C tier is definitely definitely worth keeping, but anything below that is a little bit hard to know. But even D tier is pretty good. You're aiming for like 20k a slot if you get that. You're going to easily do what I did and make around 1.2 mil a raid. Um, you'll usually fill up a backpack, is the idea. The bigger the backpack, the more money you get, because you have more money per slot, right? Some of the basic items are stuff like CPU fans. Um, another one is SCS drives, S 
um, SSD, stuff like that. That really gets uh, a lot of money from this one. Motors are another one, stuff like that. Uh, there's uh, the white light bulbs as well, the ES lamps, that's it. They're really, really good at the moment, around 40k. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. Let's get into, some, let's get into the, uh, the raid and I'll show you guys where to go. Okay. Into the first raid we go. We literally got the best spawn for this. Okay. You want to check around all around here? Look at the toolboxes. You might as well take everything until you fill up. Check these shelves for car batteries and spark plugs. On all these shelves, spawn motors, any hardware pretty much. Fuel also. Check these shelves again. Again, guys, loot every toolbox you see. It's free money. Now, the key thing about this one is we're going for a lot of small items that are worth a decent chunk instead of going for big things like graphics cards and bitcoins because they're highly contested. So that's why we're not going to any textiles in this run. All these shells, as you saw, spawn water filters, stuff like that. Alright guys, now we're going to go to the first officers. That guy's first PSU. 70k right there. Second PSU is another 70k. Sorry for changing the red, guys. I took the wrong path last time. I went to the wrong computer room. This is why you want to loot these shelves. Just found a motor. That's 100k right there. And make sure to loot these PCs on the way. They're an absolute gold mine at the moment. You want to come to this office, just loot every PC you can find, pretty much. Then you want to head out and go to the next office. Again, loot all the PCs you can find. Now we want to head to the back of Goshen to loot the shelves and the toolboxes. Same again, loot all the toolboxes. Dry fuel's another good one, and sewing kits.
lot of loot spawns on these shells. Just make sure keep an eye on them. Sometimes players will cross back here just to get to the food area. Okay guys, so we this is one of the ends of the loot runs. You can go through there and hug this wall and loot the uh the PCs. If you don't have enough loot that is. If you do have enough loot, go check the car extract over at power station. The car extract wasn't there for me, so I just extracted from railway. Alright guys, we made it to extract. Now I'll do a couple more runs. And show you any highlights I got. Okay guys, so we are done with the three runs. This is what we got in total. Following the route that I showed on the map. I got this from a scav, so that's worth 500 k Um, I'll sell everything. We're on 3.3 mil right now. Let's see what we are on at the end. Alright, let's go. Okay, we've finished selling everything. We're now gonna collect the money, sort the stash. So we're on three, 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 two right now. Three million and three hundred and thirty-two K. Let's see how much money we made. Alright, so we averaged around 1.3 mil a raid. Which considering how low like low profile is so i only found one pmc that is really good okay guys that's it for today if you like the video please let me know hit the subscribe and the like button uh this was a little bit different to my other loot guys so if you want to see any more like this let me know in the description below and catch you on the flip side